Hi everyone, my name is Holly and welcome back to another video. I'm so happy to have you here because today we are talking about all the books that we want to read in March. I'm very excited about the few books I have here to show you today that are on my list. Now, as of this moment, I am really happy with where I am um, reading-wise so far this year. I have been keeping up with ARCs pretty well and continuing series and picking up books I've been meaning to read for a really long time and I am definitely keeping that trend going for March. So other than these four books right here that I definitely want to prioritize. I am pretty much open to anything at this point. I don't really know what I want to read. It feels like a blind grab bag kind of month for me. What is a certainty though is every book I have here today is like an epic fantasy, so I guess I'm really in the mood for that. When am I not? The first book is one I've been excited about for a very long time, and that's The Bladed Faith. So sometime in January, Orbit Books did a cover reveal for this one, and I made a post saying, the moment I get this, I'm reading it. Well, a literally a couple hours later, I've received the ebook, and that was way too unexpected. So I basically had to clutch my fist and like sit on my hands because that was just way too early. It releases in April, but now it's March, and I'd much rather read the physical copy anyways, which I have, and I can finally crack this book open. So David has been exceptionally excited for the release of this book, which has me very excited. It'll be the first book I dive into this month. Um, It's going to be such an awesome awesome year for fantasy fiction. It already has been so far with The Justice of Kings and Age of Ash and some others, and now we have The Bladed Faith. It's just so exciting. This author is a fantastic writer and storyteller, and I loved The Keeper's Trilogy, which is right here. So I'm pumped to move on to this start to a new series. It mentions a lot of content that I love, like a legendary hero, a quest. I mean, the whole, like, deposed a prince who takes on the mantle of a mysterious mysterious, mystical assassin storyline is loaded with so much potential. There's actually already a really cool fan art for this book. Um, David has been posting on his Twitter, which I'll definitely be using as a reference. I cannot wait to see what kind of carnage David is going to put me through. Um, his vengeance stories are so well done. Um, the scope of the world seems huge, and I just love this kind of stuff. So I'd say this is like my priority read for the month. I will probably be doing like a review video for this, so look out for that in the future. So the next book I've selected is a bit of a buffer between all the huge intense reads. Well, this one will probably be intense too, but um, in terms of size, and that is Pawn's Gambit. So I guess this is a little bit of a spoiler for my February wrap up, but I read Never Die. And holy crap, that's my review. Holy crap. So I want to read this as soon as possible. Um, don't worry, you'll get a better review from me um, later. But for now, I just want to like lightly mention this, that I will be reading it. It's book two in the Immortal Techniques series. All the books are standalones though. And full honesty, I hope Rob never stops writing in this universe because I already want more. I mean, I guess I can talk a little bit um, what this book is about since it is a standalone story. Um, I'll definitely go into this one with my heart held much closer to my chest as I've learned from Never Die. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> this is set in an Asian-inspired fantasy world and our main character Yu is approached by a god who represents her in this magical scavenger hunt essentially to find these holy artifacts scattered across the world. And it's all part of a game the gods play to determine who will rule. I am so psyched for this. I still need to get myself physical copies because this is a set of books I absolutely want to display on my bookshelves. I also want to get to City of Dusk finally. I mentioned this in my February TBR but said I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get to it and that it might be pushed back into March and lo and behold that ended up happening. So I will definitely be diving into this one this month. It's the first book in a new dark epic fantasy series. It releases this month actually so I really need to get on. It, which is why it's a must read for me this month. This is Tara Sim's adult debut and with it being adult that normally comes with a lot of world building which I love. It's typically why no matter how many books are in a series the first book is always my favorite because of the introductions and discoveries of a brand new world. You just can't beat that for me. That shit is my medicine. So I'm really pumped to see how she transitions from YA to a brand new scope of writing. It mentions bone and shadow magic. Um, multiple realms and kingdoms with their own god, but one decides to peace out and leads to our main characters coming together to 
piece everything back together again, I guess. I'm super pumped to finally start this. So the last two books I'm going to mention are a pair, and that is Beneath the Twisted Trees and When Jackals Storm the Walls. So I'm actually still in the middle of book four as I'm filming this video, which is called Song of the Shattered Sands. I feel like a broken record at this point talking about these every month, but it's just what happens when you're reading a long series and are incredibly invested. And I'm almost halfway through this one. It's a 600 page book, so it's taking me a bit. And this here is book five, but I do hope to at least start this in March. So I figured I'd mention it as well. Um, this one and book six, which is the finale, are much shorter, thankfully, than all the other books. So maybe I can wrap this one, um, the series soon, even though I'm loving every second of it. And I'll probably feel like an empty void in my heart once I'm finished. It is taking up all of my brain space and it's just what I've been like dedicated to. I feel like a huge war between gods and kings is probably about to happen in this one and I cannot wait. So yeah, I'm excited to finish this one off so I can continue on. I've just loved every book so far in the series, but the one that will really prove to me though and will be like the test of the series is the finale. But there's still a lot of epic fantasy and a lot of pages still until that happens. Alrighty, so those are some books that I am prioritizing in March. As always, there will definitely be other books that I'll be picking up, but I like to leave it open a little for me because I have no idea what those books are going to be. I seem to be like mood reading more and more lately, so this method of choosing only a few books helps a ton. And it really doesn't help that I have quite a few of my most anticipated releases of the year sitting on my Kindle. It is so tough not to read them immediately, but I'm trying to stick to reading arcs like one month ahead of their release. It's really hard. Also, March overall is like a really iffy month for me in terms of like life events, but hopefully I can get a lot of reading done. Tell me below in the comments what books are you planning to read in March because I would love to know. And until we meet again, Happy reading.